Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about one of the functions of dplyr package which is one of the very useful package in R for transforming your data into information. So let's go ahead and talk about the pipe operator subject which is the topic of this video and this is one of the very powerful or very intuitive operations once you are once you become used to of it and it basically helps us in doing very complex operations in a very simple way and interpretability is really amazing when you are used to of it and whenever you are having any complex operations your first choice will be to go via the pipe operator but to start we will first of all take very simple examples so we can develop our understanding so let's go ahead and first of all import the library which is dplyr and after that, uh, in the last video, I talked about the arranging the data or sorting the data and we use the function which was arrange and use the data set empty cars and we sort it by the uh, cylinder and automatic or manual car type. So once we hit enter, this is how we get the data back where we have sorted the data by cylinder in ascending order 4, 6, 8 and then uh, by AM which is automatic or manual car for 0 and 1 in ascending for 4 then for 6 it is 0 and 1 so that's what I basically talked about in the last video and in this video I will just show you how you can achieve this similar operation with the help of the pipe operators so first of all we need to specify the data set name on which we want to apply so that is empty cars specify the pipe operator which is percentage greater than sign percentage and then the function which is arrange and then just just to specify the name of the columns which was uh, cyl cylinder and am that's it that's all you need to do so what it is basically saying that hey arrange the uh, data by cylinder and am into the empty cards data set and you hit enter you get the very similar output like cylinder is 4 6 and by am 0 and 1 like how i explained it in the this previous example now let's make it a descending order where 8 is coming first then 6 then 4 so we will use again empty cars pipe operator percentage this and arrange and then we will say descending and then cylinder and then am so cylinder will be in descending order am will be in ascending order once i hit enter that's how the values are coming so cylinder is coming in descending where maximum values or the uh, top value is coming first and then in case of am the lowest value is coming first so you can apply the all the operations that you have so far done with the other in my other videos if you have seen that with the help of these pipe operators now let's go ahead and try to do some sort of selection with the help of this so for that uh, we will go and first of all say empty cars and pipe operator percentage percentage greater than sign percentage and then we specify the select and within the select we need to specify the column names so the column names are let's say mpg and cyl cylinder we want so miles per gallon and cylinder mpg cyo hit enter and you get the data for mpg and cyl for all of these cars so whatever operations as i mentioned earlier that we have specified very easily we can go ahead and do it it's just that with the help of pipe operators we can do even much more than that so let's say we have selected this one and then we want to further sort it so we will repeat the previous command which was empty cars and then we will say percentage this and we will say arrange and we will say uh, mpg by mpg and hit enter and now our data is arranged by cylinder now in this case so very easy it is uh, about how we want to keep on adding the functions and it will give us back the data and we don't it's like very easily you basically go and start from the end that we have arranged the data by mpg and then we have selected for these data for these columns which are in this data set empty cards
or you can go it from the start that within this data set we have selected this column and then finally we have arranged the data by mpg the interpretability which i said at the start that it becomes really easy when you are trying to uh, interpret it your long operations so since uh, dplyr has a lot of functions and when the operations become really complex things like you are applying ranking or you know other things to really explore the data the pipe operations comes really handy and it's like you know this in your subconscious mind you just keep on adding the function and just start getting the results so that's the basic understanding i wanted to give you about the pipe operation uh, here in the dply r package and pipe is basically coming from market r package uh, which by default uh, imported by the dply r for doing the pipe operations but if not then you can get the market r package and import it so that's all i wanted to talk about this video and i will meet you in the new video with a new topic